Hi, and welcome to the Ideal Calibrations How to Calibrate Your Own Gas Monitor Guide. Tonight we'll be doing the G450 Gas Monitor by GFG. First thing you're going to need is just your gas monitor, one cylinder of trusted calibration gas. We use the Ideal Gases brand here, a cow cup with some tubing for it. I use the Viton because it's got the best resistance ratings out there, and one 0.5 liter per minute regulator. Now just remember it's got to be a 0.5 liter per minute fixed flow. First step is going to be turning your monitor on. Hold on the button on the right for a few seconds. It will beep and then let it go through its start startup check. process goes through just about everything here on the monitor, so if you need to see anything, you know what? Next inspection date is just when you should send it back either to your person you purchased it from or a registered repair center with GFG. Okay, now we're up and running here. The first thing you want to do once it's started up, generally wait a few minutes, let it kind of get its bearings and settle down, so to speak. But once it's all set through that, we're going to fast forward here. What you're going to need to do is zero the instrument. That's the first portion. There are two ways to do this on the G450. Number one is you hold the middle button and then press the right button. This will take you immediately to the auto calibration menu right here. Now if you press the button on the left, this will do a fresh air calibration for you. If you prefer to go through the menu on this, you can hit exit here, hold in the middle button until it beeps, then go down to the auto cal menu. Press select and then hit air. And it will give you a 10 second countdown and then it will begin going through the auto calibration for air. What it's doing right now is it's taking all the sensors and putting them at a zero point except for the oxygen sensor which is now calibrating to 20.9. This monitor here is a two gas unit. It's O2 and CH4 or it will actually work for any LEL that you set it for but it's going through right now and zeroing. You can tell by the little hourglass symbols here. That means it's working fine. Okay, and we now have a check mark for the O2. That means it's calibrated the oxygen sensor and everything's going fine with that. If you saw a dash or a uh, X or anything along those lines, it usually means the O2 sensor's dead and it's time to call up for a replacement. Okay, now it has an OK for each of these. And in just a second, it'll go back to reading now. And there we go. Okay, in order to calibrate, what you'll need is to take your tubing here and your cow cup. Screw it on, like so. The unit will give a beep. What that means is that little electrodes inside there have connected with the unit, and it will bring up your auto cal menu on the GFG. Now what this does is it's asking you if you want to calibrate for air, which we've already done. You can see that's the air, that's the gas, and that's just to go back to detection mode just in case you want to measure something along those lines. So what we're going to be doing is gas, so we're going to hit that button there. Now it says make sure that gas is applied. Continue. At this point we're going to take our regulator, make sure it's open, what you don't want to do is leave it closed, thus take the air that's in the room and jam it into the cylinder. You do not want to get air into the cylinder. You can hear it hissing now, so we'll turn it off. Any moisture that's in the air sitting there will react with whatever's inside the cylinder and it may distort your gas values. So now it says make sure that gas is applied. Put the tube on top. Now what we want to make sure is that there's no kinks along the process here. And we're going to hit yes and turn on our gas. And you'll hear it hissing. Now the GFG goes through a 30 second countdown. It's now at 20. I just let it sit for this amount of time. It 
a few things about tubing while we're going through the procedure here. There's a few different types out there. You'll see Tygon. You'll also see Teflon lined. You'll see polyurethane. Mm, my favorite out there is the Viton. It's also, unfortunately, the most expensive kind out there, but it'll work well with things like chlorine, etc. Okay, now look here. You'll notice that there's a dash for the O2. That means it's not bothering with the O2 sensor. It's just leaving that alone. And over here we have the hourglass for the CH4. That means it's actually calibrating the LEL sensor as we speak. I don't know if you can see that there. Good. And we just let this go. Okay, now it comes up with an auto cal report right there. And say OK. And now it goes back to the action, to the normal screen here. And at first, take this here. Turn off our gas. And then second, usually cover the alarm with my thumb to make sure it doesn't drive me crazy. Second, unscrew the thumb screws to your cal cup. Open up and just let it sit for a minute. Well, that's going off. We'll unscrew the regulator from here. Don't want to leave a regulator on about with cal gas. Occasionally there are leaks. Occasionally the impurities inside the regulator will react with the gas. Nothing good can happen when you leave the regulator on top there. So we just assemble that. Try and leave this one open, just in case the next person doesn't know to leave the regulator open. There you have it. Now your unit's back at the normal screen. It's got a zero here for the LEL and a 20.9 for the oxygen. Okay. Hope you guys have enjoyed this small video on this. If you uh, have any questions, feel free to give us a call over at Ideal Calibrations. The number is 734-365-7192, and it's extension 2. And if you have any other questions you want to put in an email, you can always email us at james at idealcalibrations.com, or just go on to our website, www.idealcalibrations.com, and fill out the contact form. Thank you much, and you guys have a wonderful day. Keep safe.